Uh, I think it's like with my, whatever all actors say is that there was just no ever, there was no other choice. There was just no other choice for me. Uh, as a kid, it was where I was most comfortable, even in the third grade when I did um, Dial M for Murder. Um, um, but my history with uh, ATC and the Wilmette Theatre actually goes back about six or seven years. Um, when I first took a day of free classes here, uh, it was an on-camera class and an improv class. They were both sample classes. And I came here and fell instantly in love. Um, so ever since I was like a little kid, um, this was something that, that I did. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went to college and I thought I was going to be a nursing major. And then I toured the nursing department and I was like, this is the worst idea for me. Um, and I couldn't think of anything else that I would want to do. but act and be in the arts. So I just uh, changed my major and yeah, became an actor and I moved up to Chicago and kind of tumbled into the admin side of things. It was just paying attention um, to questions that people were asking me about how to do this. So I started out doing a um, how to get your kid into business and from there people were asking for classes. Well that's great but my kid, you know, doesn't know how to do anything. So I started offering a few classes and then that just kind of blew up. And I was in the city, uh, I had a partner at first in the city. And then um, when we bought the Wilmette Theater 10 years ago, before we moved it to, it was moved to a not-for-profit, I opened up my own place up here, which works for, for me because I'm kind of a control freak. Mm -hmm. So I kind of liked doing it on my own. <laughs> So what I usually do with acting studios in general is I look at the classes that they have and I pick classes that I think specific, specific classes that I think my actors would benefit from. Um, we just sent a whole bunch of people to Deborah Dion's class, a whole bunch of young performers, to her group, to her series of classes, and they just loved it. And working with her was just a wonderful experience. Um, well done, you Thank two. You. Excellent. I'm sorry, I cut you off, but it's well oh, working. Do you know? Yeah. yeah. Whereas yesterday it was more of a performance and not as organic, and today it was more of you working, so there was a feeling of more of the organic there. Yeah. Do you know? And yeah. that's a huge step for, for actors. If they can get away from performance and just work, we can always find great stuff in that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> quick about it. Today is writing. Today is writing the scripts. Today is writing the dialogue. A um, uh, uh, lot of work to be done today. Um, if we can, so, Ricky... Uh, this class in particular, page to screen, was one that they had started before I was here mm -hmm. and was wildly successful uh, from a standpoint of uh, they had a lot of interest from kids and parents. And what it basically does is takes, uh, it's a two week class, mm -hmm. uh, two week camp really, uh, four hours a day, where the first week the students write a script for a film, usually about 10 to 15 minute film. And then the second week we'll shoot that film, we'll, we'll film it. And I am the writing part of it, so I help them in sometimes learn how to write. Um, and this makes sense to you, right? Like, yeah. we're cutting yeah. out this yeah. one line so that it's not confusing as to your, your well, are we intention. All oh, done. Oh, one and two. Got it? Um, if it's just stay, and then, you know, maybe uh, Candace is next. She's got something to say. Right, and sometimes you learn how to work together because it's an ensemble thing. That's what I really like about it is, is it is collaborative. Mm -hmm. And they have to work together to create this thing and they all have parts in it and they all get a moment to shine. Um, the end product is, is essentially all of theirs all together. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately people would be joking around with each other and they were very good at bringing out the best in people mm -hmm. which I really liked and then on the other side of that they were also teaching us really valuable skills with the industry mm -hmm. and very 
practical um, skill sets that we needed. So I really appreciated that. The whole world in here, that's your job, in this little tiny space. And in casting offices, it's going to be the same. So if you're going to go into this professional context, this is what to expect. This is what they expect from you. And I think more so than anywhere else that I have learned um, acting in theater in the business, um, this is the place that really drives that point home. Okay, so for those of you who have not taken class here, raise your hand who's never taken a class here. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. The studio was created nine years ago by me. Yes. Um, with the very definite intention of training to work. So there are a lot of places that train, but I always try to bring in people that are working so that we can get you to the place where you're working. We're trying to bridge that gap between, okay, so I learned this, now how do I do this? So what Mary House will do is she'll make it applicable to her life and what she hears on set and the notes that she gets on set. You know, it's a constant weeding out process. Not everybody gets an agent. Not everyone with agents gets to audition for every job. So as a matter of fact, um, there are a handful of actors who get in everywhere, who all the casting directors love, who get in all the time. There's a larger number of actors who don't get in all the time, who don't even, you don't even get to audition. As casting director, I'm um, in some ways the gatekeeper for a director uh, where I um, help the director determine what actors should be seen for a project based on the director's vision for the project, based on the aesthetic of the project. Um, my main job is to really have a very extensive database of actors that um, not only from Chicago but nationwide and also internationally that uh, we could use at Chicago Shakespeare Theatre. So when a project comes along, I have a database that I can pull from to help the director cast the play as close to their vision as possible that they really approach the business in a professional way. Mm -hmm. So the young actors know it's not just something that once you get to a certain level, it's not just fun and games and it's also a job and they have to be responsible. But what she doesn't do is kill the play in them. You know, they come and they're very open and they're, they're very in the moment and, um, and they get really good training and they have a really good foundation to build on so you don't have to correct bad habits, mm -hmm. which is often something that you get with, with um, younger actors is where they've kind of been drilled to say a line a certain way, mm -hmm. as opposed to just kind of be in the moment and react to it. And that happens much more with Carol's students, mm -hmm. is that they're much more willing to be in the moment with you. Acting is not what we want to do. We just want to be. We want to live inside that story, that character on those pages. Mm -hmm. That's hard. It's, it's hard. And we have to break down the process and break it down and break it down and break it down. Because it requires uh, a person to let go of all inhibition and show themselves. I don't think we do that very much in our daily lives, is really just show ourselves. Um, the biggest thing I've learned so far in terms of working is just learning to find the fun and experimenting and learning to really experience that freedom to do whatever you want because it's really just creating things. Mm -hmm. um, They're really, really great. So they just gave us feedback on like how to be more real, but that like you're enough and you can't like push that emotion. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Uh, well, we started with physical theater, which was like interesting to see how many different ways like a character can develop based on what they do physically. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, we kind of just got up and ran at once and got notes. Didn't read your letter for a long time. I kept looking at it and looking at it. I put it away. I put it in the bottom of a drawer and I tried to forget about it. I didn't read your letter for a long time. I kept looking at it and looking at it, I threw it away. I, I put it in the bottom of a drawer and I tried to forget about it. Um, I took PSI a few years ago and it was one of the like last few days of rehearsal. We were like getting ready for our showcase and me and my friend both got food poisoning. Mm -hmm. And I got it worse than her, I think, but I didn't want to leave um, because it was a lot of fun and I really liked it here, so I didn't. And I was like, okay, I just felt really sick. And I was sitting backstage and kind of just like 
<laughs> trying to get like breathe and feel better and all of a sudden like everyone came over and just really rallied around me and was like, supporting me and helping me like doing whatever they could to try and help me and it just really stuck with me as like a moment where everyone's gonna be there for you and it's not just with theater like those guys were my best friends for those two weeks and still some of my best friends today and they we were always there for each other and things like that where if one of us was down we were there to pick each other back up and I think that's how it is all the time here right now I only have my twin brother and I have my mom because my dad died three years ago and it was just nice because ATC was there for me and in fact like ATC we like we were doing back then three years ago our comedy troupe we would like perform at schools and such so my dad passed away and the same day because I I'm a fighter I pushed through the same day I did a show for ATC I was late as usual because that's me but I made it and then after I I don't know like I felt open and I said my, my dad died today and then I, re I really felt the family experience because no one, like, it's not just like people were like, how shocking, like, people at school were just kind of like, wow, I'm really sorry, man, but it really felt genuine from the kids at ATC, and then, I don't remember who, but someone suggested we dedicate the next show to Alex's dad, and so yeah, it definitely is a family for me. You know, it's not going to be somebody walking on the red carpet. Um, I think while that's great, and it has happened, um, I think the best success stories is when we have students who find a home here and feel comfortable here. And, you know, whether it's acting or um, casting or, you know, helping out behind the scenes, or if it's them realizing that they want to become a lawyer or a firefighter or, you know, anything like that, the fact that we help people somewhere along on their journey to figure out what they want to do is in my opinion, the best success story there is. We, we say this a lot, that like if you go on to become a professional actor, that's awesome. But if you go on to become like a great, happy, well-adjusted dentist, like that's great too. Um, it's so much more about just making sure they feel better when they leave, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, as an actor, there's specific goals, making sure you're naturalistic, you're flexible, you know, that sort of stuff. But like as a person, we just hope that they come to class, they enjoy themselves, and they leave a better person than when they started. Oh man, if they don't become actors, good for them, because actually it's probably the hardest uh, career choice you could ever make. If you walk out of here and you have respect for the art, and respect for the arts, and understand how, it, how we tell stories, and how we can change the world through telling stories and enlighten people, one. Two, if you have learned through uh, being at the Actors Training Center, how to key in and listen and understand that listening is so much more exciting than talking, then that's huge. And if you learn to work as a group, that's huge. So any career path that you choose, any life that you choose, if you can do, if you've learned those things with me and at the Actors Training Center, I mean, what a great mark to leave.